Ruth here, and this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Circuit Break Special Edition. So like in these things, you might know by now, you get two of four super rare variant cards, which are shown on the back. Actually, sure let's, there you go, focused better. So each special collect edition, a collection or whatever, box contains three Circuit Break Booster Packs, one or two super rare variant cards and one or two super rare uh, super rare variant cards of non foil cards from the extreme force booster set so you can even have one of each one of that one or one of that one not like both of them yeah little uh, advert for the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links uh, app six years so let's I found if I wasn't really to easy open these is if you go if you see like the perforation like there if you go for it like to the back or you know or rip this off you can open it easier that way so. As you see, we have three of those. Ooh, we have the Winged Dragon of Ross Sphere Mode. I actually did pull one of these. So I have one of those. Ooh, and we have a Parallel Port Armor. And both says limited edition. Sweet. So, uh, I found that these uh, KMC Perfect Fits are mainly for like Pokemon sized cards, and these ones will have a bit space if you wanted to know. See. If I move this one to the side and up, you'll have that much space. So I think. Um. Whoops. These ones might not. So I have these uh, gold. I can open them. There we go. These ones are more like on each side, like more even. Though these are like for playing, really. Not really for collectors. But you can still like, you know. Double sleeve them if you really want to. I believe. I think. Yeah. So, like, if you really wanted to, you can double sleeve. But, uh, it does track a bit, so you'll have to. It's not as nice looking. Anyway. So if you're wondering what these gold ones were. They were from the uh, Pokemon Chaos Cards uh, YouTube presentation pack. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll just get another perfect fit. Because I have decided, because I haven't actually gone through all of them yet, but at least for the uh, super, possibly the super rares, but definitely for the legendary and uh, for the uh, secrets. I'll definitely put them in sleeves so you know they don't bend so much. So I will change the battery then I'll get onto this. Alright I'm back from changing the battery. Just put 
slide it off to the side. Anyway, so before I didn't, I didn't actually buy a booster box of this. I think I bought one pack, or if I didn't buy a pack yet, it was because I was waiting for this. Because I know it comes with three packs, so I can't remember. <laughs> right, so if I haven't bought this before, then I'll keep at least one silly pack art for my, you know, a scrapbook thing. So, that's the Miss Star Boy. <laughs> and this th throw cat dragon. Okay. World Legacy Clash. Duck Dummy. <laughs> Ooh, or rare is a twin triangle dragon. And our super rare is Quiet Life. We got a Luna Light Kaleido Chick, Soldier Dragons, and a Cyberse Beacon. So that was the first pack. Let's just take these two that down there. Rare, super rare, rest. <laughs> Okay, so we have a Goki Headbat, the Accumulator, FA Whip Crosser, I guess, Metaverse for a rare, and whoa! Okay, we have a secret rare, Overdone Burial. So like, with the, kind of like an art, sort of, from, a, is it the Foolish Burial or something? Anyway, that is really cool and that tombstone is pretty overdone but with like little steps leading up to it mm. and all those gems on a way is that a gold tombstone yeah that would say that's a bit overdone <laughs> but uh, yeah I mean just to get the sleeve ready for it and a world legacy in shadow is our next one. So as you can probably tell, I don't actually really follow Yu-Gi-Oh cards as much as I do with Pokemon nowadays, but of the uh, stuff I collect in the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I do at least try and keep track of that. A crawler receptor and Amazonist Empress and a uh, crawler axon. I can't count. Alright, so there's some crawler thingies. Here is the uh, Amazonist Empress. I actually did buy one because I forgot I ordered this. So, anyway, and that will go with my Amazonist collection. And so will this, the Amazon's Pet Liger. It's very cool. Lunar Light Crimson Fox. I'll go with the Lunar Light stuff. Another Miss Star Boy. Fantastic Stryborg. Is that how you say it? 22 attack and defense is nice. Ooh, and we have an Altergeist Protocol. Um, that is rares, and that is the super rare. Here we have an altergeist kun query, is it? Hmm. So it's sort of like a uh, cross between a centaur with a machine type of thing. Something like that. A uh, ca capacillator stalker. I suck at these names. Sorry. And another empress. And an FA pit stock. So yeah, I'd say that was a pretty good uh, pull overall because we actually did get a secret. So I'm gonna do collection because I don't really play at all. So I like collecting at least the cards that I like. Anyway.
the uh, cards I don't like, I keep at least one or two of them in my collection, then I sell them. Though, no one's been buying anything yet. Um, I do have like a, a bundle on eBay of some of the cards. Most of them are all, you know, mint since I don't play them. But uh, I might start making mini bundles if the uh, bundle of a thousand, three hundred and something doesn't sell. But uh, yeah. So that, that, that's it, I guess. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. Over and out.